Welcome traders to another Tick Mill earnings report preview with me, Patrick Munnerly. Before we jump into today's report, it's important that we adhere to the risk disclaimer. Uh, the material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me in this recording are solely mine. They're not indicative or representative of those held by Tick Mill UK or Tick Mill Europe Limited. Equally important, CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 71% and 65% of retail accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK and Tickmill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are focused on Twitter. Twitter release earnings on Thursday before the New York Open and the earnings per share consensus is 0.01 cents on a revenue of 1.22 billion. There is a whisper number out there that uh, earnings per share could come in as high as 0.05 cents. Obviously, there has been a, a Ferrari of news around Twitter uh, this week with Elon Musk's takeover of the stock, but the focus for investors on the, uh, on the report, the earnings release is gonna be really about how uh, effective Twitter have been in generating advertising services revenue. Uh, last time out saw 4.5 billion or about 89% of Twitter's revenues for uh, the financial year 2021. The segment's revenue rose 40.5% compared to the year before 2020. Twitter generates most of its advertising revenue by selling promoted products including promoted ads and Twitter Amplify follower ads and Twitter Takeover to advertisers. The company creates tailored advertising opportunities by using an algorithm to make sure promoted products make it to the right user's timeline, search results, profile pages, and tweet conversations. Advertisers have the ability to target an audience based on multiple criteria. Twitter provides ways for advertisers to build and grow an audience interested in the products or services they are offering. <clears throat> Advertisers also have the option to pay for ads that will appear at the top of trending topics or a timeline. While the majority of revenue from advertising services is generated through Twitter's own and operated platform, a small portion of advertising products Twitter sells are also placed on third-party publisher websites, applications, and other offerings. So this is going to be key metrics to focus on in the report. If we think now about the statistical uh, trading patterns around the earnings release. Uh, stock has moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, six out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved down, however, uh, minus 1.5% in the first day of trading after the company's reported earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, uh, Twitter is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 2.1%. Uh, the stock has moved lower one week after earnings, seven out of the previous 12 reports. On average, the stock's moved down 0.5% um, on the five-day performance post-release. Let's see what the options market's telling us. Well, the options markets are pricing in a 12.3% move on earnings, and the stock has averaged a 10.9% move in recent quarters. From the flow and sentiment perspective, uh, Tuesday, April 19th, before uh, the uh, Elon Musk announcement with respect to his interest in acquiring Twitter, there was some noticeable buying 6,700 contracts of the $60 call expiring on Friday, July 15th. In general, option order flow sentiment is bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 34% expecting an earnings beat. Consensus estimates offer earnings to decline year over year by 95%, with revenue increasing by 17.76%. Short interest has increased 98% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has drifted higher by 33.8% from its open following the earnings release to be 4% below its 200-day moving average at $50.95. Let's take a look at the technical setup and see where potential trading opportunities may present. Um, we got this po we, we well we got the acquisition pop in the stock uh, traded up just above the offer price of 54.20. Notably, it traded to symmetry swing resistance pretty much to the tick there at uh, 50 uh, 54.70, and that's where we saw some supply come into the market. What we're looking at here on the daily time frame is the potential now for an ABC corrective move to uh, certainly test 42.27. 
as the equality objective and then just below into that $39 area, uh, basically filling that gap from the, uh, from the pop with respect to the acquisition announcement. From there, I'd watch for bullish reversal patterns as an opportunity to engage on the long side, looking for a move up to test in back into the trend channel resistance at the $57.30 area. At this stage, only a closing breach of $36 would, uh, would be a bearish development and suggest that we are likely to drift lower and target a test of trend channel support down to $26.30. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.